Hi guys, I'm here to make a quickie. This was um, a, somebody mess, messaged me, Liam, and he was telling me about his uh, grandmother had just died. Just let me answer that. I shall be right back. Okay, where was I? Yes, Liam and his uh, grandfather has just died, Pat. My condolences there. And he was telling me about how his nana has to pay uh, all these uh, funeral costs. It's end up costing her $6,000. Over $6,000. She's already grieving. She's an elderly woman. She's already grieving. And now she has the added burden of this on her. A $6,000 debt. And one of the bills is uh, $240 for two doctors to sign... He's actually written the birth certificate here, and I think he means the death certificate. $240 for the de death certificate to get two doctors to sign their name on a piece of paper. How long does that take? Hmm, let's see. Split second, not bad money. Now I see why the doctors become doctors. Uh, this is um, innately wrong. This, is, And I've often thought this, and... To charge people when they're already grieving, they get them at their lowest point and they can pretty much, you know, tell get them to do whatever they want. It's wrong. It's just another money-making scheme. I've donated my body to science and I haven't donated my body to science to be a goody tissues. I can tell you that right now. I've donated my body to science so that my family don't have to pay for funeral costs. I have no desire whatsoever to have people standing there mourning, carrying on. Go out, have lunch, have a good time. Go, yeah, she was okay. Get on with it. I do not want people paying bullshit costs over me dying. And that is the sole reason I have donated my body to science. And I often... Um, this gets to me, this really gets to me, is that they spend billions and billions and billions of dollars on cancer research. What they should be spending that money on is cancer prevention. Why don't they spend all that money on studying somebody like me? I don't get the flu, I haven't had the flu for years. So why not study me and work out why I don't get the flu and my neighbour does? This is where they should be um, spending their money and getting... Because we all know what's causing cancer is all this shit they're putting in our food. The preservatives, the additives, the dyes, the um, MSGs, you know, the fla flavor enhancing additives, the gums, uh, in our clothes, the formaldehyde, all the chemicals they use in our clothes, the products around us, the radiation that comes out of the microwave and um, everything else. This is what they should be doing, spending it on prevention. And see, this is the thing. That, they get people by charging more for the good for it. Like if you want to eat organic, you have to you get you have to pay through the nose for it, and it should be the other way around. You want to eat organic, it should be the cheapest, but it's not. It's the most expensive. It's like the A2 milk I was telling you about because I'm lactose intolerant and I can't drink the other milk. I'm forced to drink this. I know it's a choice, but you know what I'm talking about. Um, so they charge me an extra two dollars for it and that's what they do if you want to live healthily they charge you for it and all the stuff that's got the chemicals in it everything around us and the ads on TV like I've often said this about the 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 um, aerosols the uh, air fresheners and things like that this is the things that are causing your cancer all these things that are in our food and our air the detergents we use, this is what's causing the cancer. They should be putting this money towards getting this stuff taken out. Because it's like I said before, back in the 60s, cancer was, it was very rare. If somebody had cancer, it was very rare. Now everybody, it's not when you die of cancer, it's not if you die, it's when you die of cancer. The other thing is um, YouTube changed my channel. You may think I did this myself. No, I didn't. I woke up yesterday morning and I got on YouTube and there was, uh, the instant I opened it, it was the box, there was a box, the big box came up across the screen saying, YouTube has upgraded your channel. Some things have changed, uh, uh, but you may need to go through it and check that uh, everything is the same. And then it says, close this box. There was no tick 
I want to keep it that way or tick I want to keep it this way I did not want my channel upgraded YouTube I liked it just the way it was thank you very much if I wanted the bloody thing upgraded I would have upgraded it myself so that really pissed me off they've gone and screwed with my channel when I did not want it to be screwed with and I thought oh well it must be just must be everybody got upgraded but no I went to a few channels and no they're not all upgraded so they screwed with my channel um, that's all I have to talk about Liam I'm extremely sorry about your grandfather and um, I agree with you wholeheartedly funeral costs and doctor's fees and all that is bullshit there shall be a flat fee anyway there's my phone again smile and have a nice day